All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the anatomy of a Trello board and how you can use it to save yourself time. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to start out with this existing board because in the description below, I'm going to include a link to a board where you can go ahead and kind of jumpstart your Trello experience. So this way you don't necessarily have to start from scratch. And what you would do is basically copy the board, rename it, and make it your master. So I'm going to talk about how you do those things here um, right now. So basically, you will get the link to this board because right now it's private, but I'm going to make it public. So that way you can copy it and you'll already have a template to get started with. So you'll go right here to show menu. Then all you do is click copy board. And then you can name it whatever you want, right? Uh, let's just say travel board. Let's say travel board. All right, so I'm going to click create. So now this board is done. So if you want to go see where it is, all you can do is go over here to home. And then now we have our two boards. This was the board where I initially started, plan a vacation. This is the one that I just created, which is the travel board, right? So what I could do is just change this and make this master travel board. Now, why is this important? Once you start taking more trips, and once you get the hang of Trello, what you'll want to do is basically have a master that you can use for any city or whatever trip you're going to take. So whether you're traveling to, you know, the next state over to visit family or if you're traveling overseas on, a, you know, a wonderful excursion, an exotic vacation. <clears throat> all you have to do is basically copy this board and rename it. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. So this is our master board right now. So all I'm going to do is click more, come right back over here, copy board. And let's just say I want to take a trip to Hawaii, right? So now this is going to be Hawaii. I can just name it Hawaii. You can say Hawaii Travel Board, whatever you want to call it. Create. Now what happens when you copy your board and create it, it automatically takes you to that board. So this board has been renamed Hawaii. So let's say I want to go back to my master. Um, well, let me show you this real quick. So right here, I can see a list of all of my boards, right? So I can access them from here. So that's the plan of vacation. Right now, it's kind of hard to tell the difference because they all look alike, but I'm about to show you something really quick, okay? So say you want to change the background. So this is the plan of vacation. Let's go to the Hawaii board. So remember right now, everything kind of looks the same. So we're going to change the background. So you have a couple of choices. You can either use a photo, like right now, this is a photo, or you can choose a color. So you can just choose a basic color. That's the color change it to blue, red, what have you. Say you want to stick with the photos. You can scroll through here, plenty of different photos to choose from. You can even search. So let's say I want to search beach since we're doing a Hawaii themed um, board. And let's just find something really cool. I like this one. So I click that. Now my board has changed. All right, actually that's kind of busy. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Close that. Uh, cool. And you can just play around, you see, just until you get one that meets your liking. Actually, I'm going to leave this one. I like this. So this is my new Hawaii board. So let's go back to home. And you see the difference? So the background has changed. Um, the master, if I want, I can just make that a solid color as well, just to kind of indicate that that's my master. I'm not a fan of these colors, to be honest with you. Uh... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the solid colors. But for the sake of this, we're going to leave that there. All right, so I'm going to go back home. And now you can quickly differentiate your boards. So your Hawaii board has the beach chairs. Your master board is red in color. And your plan of vacation, which is the one that I'm going to give you a, a link to. Uh, these are your three different boards. So again, if you go right here and you see the background colors or images show up here for... You know, so you can quickly access them. This gets really important once you start having multiple boards. As I mentioned before, I use Trello even for work. And so once you start having multiple boards, you know, the different ways to identify them quickly beyond name really helps. All right. So we covered what a board is, how to create a board, well, actually how to copy a board. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own board, which is super simple. Uh, let's just say you're already in the board over here, Hawaii. Simply go to home, create a new board. Boom. 
give your board a title new board create board I don't know if you saw up there I went a little bit too fast but it already gives you an image and you can name this whatever you want you know list one list two I'm gonna talk about list in just a second but this is your new board so if we go over here, we can see it's already populated. New board, Hawaii Master Travel Board, plan a vacation. And if I come over here to home, I have all of my boards right here, easy to see. All right, so that's how you copy your board. That's how you create your own master board. And really quick, so say, especially once you get to the point where you have several boards, you might want to start deleting them, right? So let's just say... I'm going to go to the new board. I don't need that. There's nothing on here. So let's just say, okay, I'm done with the trip. I don't plan to reuse any other information in there. Say you hated the destination. Like I'm never going back to whatever city or country it is. So I don't need this information anymore on my board. All you would do is come over here to show menu. Click more. Right here where it says close board. Click that. And it's going to ask, you know, I can reopen the board by clicking in the boards. But I'm going to show you where you can delete it right here. So right now that board is closed. And if I just simply want to reopen it, I can click here. If I'm completely done with this board, like I never want to use the content of this board ever again, I'm going to click permanently delete. Now, and it gives you a warning. All lists, cards, and actions will be deleted. And you won't be able to reopen the board. So make sure if you're deleting a board that you don't need any other content that's on that board. Personally, I've only deleted boards a couple of times just because there's information on there that I typically want to reuse. So just be mindful of that. Uh, sometimes you might create a board out of, you know, a mistake or by the duplicated a board and you just know for certain I don't need this board anymore. And all you would do is click delete and it is about to go away for life. All right. So now that board is done. All right. So in the next video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to create your list how to move those lists around, how to sort your list, and how to copy lists. Um, if you enjoy the content in this video, do, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, click the like icon, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces.